Hello guys, after the red wine, the rosé wine, today we make the white wine. Here I have seven kilograms of uh, white grapes. At the end we will get more or less five liters of wine. One important thing when you do the wine in small quantity like this is to have a fermenter, especially with the airlock. If not, instead of the wine, you will make vinegar. Don't worry, if you want to buy on Amazon, I put all the links down under the video. When you do the white wine, it's very important that you make a good selection of the grapes. All the fruit that is not good, you need to throw away, and also the green part. So when you remove it from the grapes, you can make the selection. and smashing everything with the hands because it's a small quantity. If you do a big quantity, you can take a big container, put the grapes inside and smash with the feet, like our grand, grand, grandfather were doing. Now I'll show you the difference when you make the white wine. Instead of put all the grapes inside the fermenter, we need only the juice. So you take a, a dish towel, like this, you put in the colander, I think, or in the strain. We put the, the grapes inside and we squeeze very well and we get only the juice. The things that remain, you can use it to make uh, grappa or to make vinegar. For the grappa, I have not done the video yet, but for the vinegar, you can find the video here on the channel. Now I go ahead to smash all my grapes and collect the juice. See you after to speak about the fermentation. Collect our juice, we put the lid on the top of the lid, the airlock, and we check that there is no leaks. You can see the airlock is moving. And we should wait that the fermentation start. After 12 hours, you can see on the bottom, on the fermenter, already there is a little bit of um, small pieces. So we can filter the first time our wine. So we move this wine from one fermenter to another. I also using this uh, coffee filter made with material. In this way, we will filter even better our wine. We can do this because the fermentation is not start already. So there is no alcohol inside that can become vinegar. Also in this way, we put a little bit of air inside that will be good for our yeast. We close again with the lid and with the airlock and we wait the fermentation start. After 48 hours in the second fermenter, the fermentation start. Sometimes can happen that the fermentation is low or start after a few days. Don't worry, could be normal. 
For example, in my case, it's because the sugar inside the uh, future wine, in this juice that we get from the grapes, is very high. So the yeast need time to ferment everything. Don't worry, after the fermentation start, will run fast. You need maybe one day more. The density, I checked the initial density, is 1000. 76 so it's very high so the alcohol content will be high but also we need to give the yeast more time to work our wine after five days you can notice from the airlock from the foam on the top and also from the yeast on the bottom that the fermentation is going very well After 15 days, the fermentation is still going on. You can notice from the airlock that it makes one uh, bubbles every maybe one hour, but especially because the wine is not transparent. So we should wait longer. After 30 days, our fermentation is done. You can notice from the airlock that is at level. Inside also you can see uh, mosquitoes, but don't worry. With the alcohol, all the infection are stopped. So you cannot get infection from the things that fall inside because they don't fall inside, but they stop here in the airlock. This is why we need the airlock and also the alcohol inside. Because I like the wine sparkling, I will add the sugar in the bottle. My bottle is, uh, my bottles are 750 ml, so I will use six, seven grams of sugar. I will use my sugar cubes. You already saw these cubes when I done the video about alcoholic sugar cubes. They are very easy to use because each of them is six grams. We put the sugar, the wine, and we close with the lid. I will also use old lids that I take, uh, old corks that I have modified to use it again after I show you how you can make it. And plus, before, I will check the final gravity. In this way, we know the alcohol content. And at the end, I will tell you the alcohol content of the wine and also how you can modify the cork. Finally, we got more or less four liters of wine. And also I checked the alcohol content because the final gravity was 1000. The initial gravity was 1076. So we should do 1076 less 1000, we get 76. We divide for 7.5, that is a specific number, coefficient for this kind of calculation and we get 10.1 plus 0.5 for the sugar that we add in the bottles. The alcohol content of our wine will be 10.5% of graduation. You can see that here I put a lid like this that is temporary because now I show you how to cut the cork to close your wine. After we should wait at least two weeks before that we can test our wine. If you want a sparkling wine, if not, you can drink directly like this. 
Also the yeast that you find on the bottom, the fermenter, you can store it for the next time. If the wine is good, also the yeast is good, so you can use again for another fermentation. But now let's prepare the cork. See you in two weeks. Spectacular. Also remember that I use common grapes. There's no specific grapes for the wine. So this wine is a little bit sparkling. Very, very spectacular for aperitivo. So to eat with like uh, with some cold cuts. Uh, naturally, a uh, homemade bread. Okay, guys. Remember that the goal of this video is not to open a binary or a brewing company when I do the beer. Like in few videos ago, I make the homemade whiskey. It's not the real whiskey, but it's something very similar that we can do at home. So my tutorial is uh, something that can help you to experiment something at home. So, be more easy when you do these things okay guys again remember to subscribe to the channel to leave me a like it to share this video with your friends any question down in the comment bye bye